Hey, this is Spin Trip Fall, and I'm going to be breaking down how to handle the Stardew Valley Fair to get the star fruit, all the coins you need, all the bonuses, get that extra energy boost, and go home happy. So roll the intro. Okay, now that we've uh, we've done the intro, let's go ahead and get into the meat of this. So we all know you're going to have to do the Grange display, which is means you need as many gold items as possible, which includes animal products, artisan goods, cooking, fish, foraging, which includes flowers and tree saps, fruits, minerals, and vegetables. And you want to get a gold, if possible, uh, item in those categories. As many as you can in the animal products. I'd go for a large milk if you have one, stuff like that. Other than that, the best way is to fish. Yes, this little fishing mini game. it's not the most exciting game in the world, and it can kind of drag on. You can also bet your money. Yes, that is definitely a viable option. But really, the best way, in my opinion, is going to be fishing. And you get pretty good pretty good money from it. You can see I got a score 98 there. That's not even the best one I had this day. And that ended me with 156 star tokens. So at that rate, you know, only like 15 games and you'll have all the stuff you need. Now you can see here, putting in, this is my winning selection for this. So I picked the best of every item I could, obviously, and the highest quality of that item. Uh, cranberry sauce may not have been the best there. I don't know if the sunflower was, but that gets you a pretty decent amount of points there. And that's enough to win, uh, win the Grange competition, which gives you an extra, I believe, 800 star coins. So you can take that into account. I had a little extra. You can see here, here's the gambling. It is a 50-50 split. There's no house bonus, so it's not the worst, uh, worst gambling in the world, but but you can lose. And actually the person I was playing with bet a thousand and lost it and had to re-earn his way up. So we spent quite a bit of time doing fishing. Now this is the other mini game that is available to you. This is the slingshot mini game. And I never really got good with the slingshot. I didn't use it much. I use a mix between controller and the mouse and keyboard. So it was a little bit weird for me. You have to, I think you have to use the Maybe you can use a, a controller somehow. I haven't figured out how to use the slingshot yet, really. But the mini game, I mean, I, you click and drag with the mouse, so I just use the mouse. But uh, the mini game, a little bit tricky and doesn't get you as many points unless you're really good at it. Now, if you're hitting all your shots, it may still be worth it, but it wasn't for me. You can also see right above me here is the little uh, strength man, and you can do that, but it only gets you one coin at a time. And uh, once you finish the Grange display, and you take your items out. You can do that. You can remove your items, so don't forget to do that. That way you uh, you walk out with all of them. So no, you will not lose all of these items for doing it. And once you get your grange to spray, you get the star fruit. The star fruit is really good, and this is the main reason why. You can also get a scarecrow for 800 or a rare crow, actually. But the star fruit is really a big bonus, and you need the star fruit because it gives you 34 extra energy permanently. Or star drop. I keep saying star fruit. Sorry, it's a star drop. Anyways, it's been Spin Trip Fall. Hope you all enjoy. Hit that like and subscribe. Have a good one. Bye bye.